In bees miss, there's a bunch of useful things. First thing I can think of is the puppy bee, it's pretty useless. Just kidding, it's nice for little thing bees, but other than that, it's probably the worst bee in the game. But yeah, in this video, I'm not here to debate about bees and their usefulness, but talk about the most useless things inside a bee swarm. So puppy bee, I'd say is the first one, because it's only good in your hive if you're leveling. But yeah, so if you guys do end up enjoying the rest of this video, where I talk about a bunch of other things, or you just, you know, like my opinion or something, you know, drop a like, subscribe with most notices on, it really does help support my channel. And if you disagree with any of this, make sure you tell me in the comments. But yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so first of all, I think everyone knows this honey dispenser. The only thing we have all used it for in the past three years, it's for Beesmas quests. And I think maybe some Spearbear quests where he needed to collect this, but other than that, it's like pretty useless. Let's see out what it gives. 77,000 honey. Yeah, that definitely makes a massive difference in my 363 trillion. I guess the haste is pretty nice if you're trying to do a video where you're becoming the fastest player. But yeah, overall, I'd give this uh, honey dispenser on the usefulness scale a 2 out of 10, just because I feel like n none of us have gained anything significant from it in the past 3 years, since I'll assume everyone has been no lifing. But yeah, so moving on, we can also agree on this uh, ticket dispenser. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. Unfortunate, well I got my one royal jelly. That was definitely a good purchase, I really needed that. But yeah, so let's all agree that the only useful thing from the second dispenser is a time stand haste. I'm gonna just buy another just to run around. It's kind of fun. But yeah, so this is an absolute ripoff. For the low price of six tickets, also known as like 20 quadrillion honey for people who have been using the ticket dispenser a lot. It's a massive ripoff. I remember myself buying it like four years ago or something when uh, Royal Jelly was incredibly hard to get. I remember getting three jelly for my first King Beetle kill and I thought that was insane. And I remember spending Robux on one piece of Royal Jelly. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty much very useless. So yeah, I'd give this thing on the usefulness scale a 1 out of 10, because not only is it a very bad price for Royal Jelly, it's also a ripoff. Another thing I can think of is this treat dispenser. The only thing it's good for is clickbait videos. I'm sure we've all seen those videos on how to get like 20 quadrillion treats, you know, by some people. You know, banana games or something. Or like that guy or McProsive. So on the usefulness scale, I'll give this thing like a 3 out of 10 just because it's good for clickbait. But yeah, it gives you like 177 treats. Once again, let me see how useful this is to my net worth. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Those 100 treats really did make a massive dent in my treat net worth. Yeah, I guess some honey and one pineapple. Also pretty insane. I have over 110,000 pineapples also on it. Thank you so much for that one single pineapple. I appreciate that. Next on the useless scale, I will go ahead to the star shop, go up the stairs, and yeah, SSA, pretty useless, Supreme Serum, like kind of trash. Yeah, okay, just kidding. I'm here to look at this royal jelly dispenser. The only thing it is good for is for the little orange haste token. Fortunately, I think I claimed it like uh, 22 hours ago or something. It's so fun to mess around with. You get time stand haste, bear morph, and everything, and you just zoom past. If you guys didn't know, I made the original video on becoming the fastest player. Like, look at this. You run so fast. It is actually so fun. Faster than on the updates. That is, in fact, very true. But yeah, so moving on to the next thing, I will go ahead and go over to this top area. So we have Mondo Chick. I wouldn't say it's completely useless. It is pretty good for the capacity and pollen. But back then, the fight for who got all the Mondo Chick loot was insane. You hop on a private server and you have a blue backpack on. Everyone just blades you until you just rage quit the game. Just because everyone wanted those neon berries, those little uh, bitter berries, you know. And most importantly, they wanted the mythic egg. But now when the beast swarm economy is broken, people are making one quadrillion honey per day. It's, I don't know, small things like that, they don't really count that much. But yeah, Mondo Chick, I'd give it on the useful scale, I'd give it like a 6 out of 10 because it's still nice for boosting if you get like a good Mondo Blessing for capacity. And, of course, the pollen boost is also very nice. Oh, yeah, another thing is the mythic meteor shower. Everyone knows those stereotypes that blue backpackers beg for the meteors, like, you know, because they want the tickets and stuff, they want the honey. Everyone also used to make fun of people who only go for the honey and meteors. And yeah, that was very insane honey for an early game player. But meteors are so bad compared to the new thing called puff shrooms. Basically, the new era of blue backpackers is, uh, you know, begging for puff shrooms. I don't think I've actually seen any stereotypes of people begging for them. But yeah, meteors were the golden era back then, you know? If you had access to meteors, you're basically an oligarch, but now you're like a Russian oligarch who has no money. The best thing about meteors, in my opinion, when people actually cared about them was neon berries. 
Because back then, you could only get, I think, up to two Neon Berries per Mondo Chick if you get lucky. Usually, it's at least one. And if you got lucky, you could get, like, five or three Neon Berries from the Meteors. The reason Neon Berries are important is for one small thing that no one really knows about. And it is, oh wow, someone or 800 Blood Checks. Pretty nice. But yeah, Neon Berries are used to craft the Purple Potion, and the Purple Potion is used to craft the Super Smoothie. But yeah, so at the end, you need 12 Neon Berries for one Super Smoothie. Yeah, it was a massive pain in, you know what, just to get those. But thankfully, on it, uh, is a good boy, and he gave us infinite Neon Berries pretty much. I think I have, yeah, over a thousand. Neon Berries are basically devalued now. Another useless thing I will go for is, I will say, this uh, Memory Match. For 25,000 honey, you can have a chance of getting, let's see. Whoa, 15 pineapples, no way. Five gum shops, let's go. Wait, I think I got this. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh! Wait, I'm actually rich, bro. For 25,000 honey, I got five gum shops and 15 pineapples. That's insane. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic and, you know, it's really not even worth your time. The only reason, or the only thing it's good for is probably the quest lines that require you to get pairs and memory matches. Uh, uh, spirit bear. Honestly, spirit bear gonna die soon, bro. She's about to collapse into a coma. She's been standing there for like three years now, almost with no break. She's old, so yeah. I've been shot for spirit bear when she does die. Just kidding, you know. Spirit bear lives on forever, like this game. But yeah, for the next thing for me to show you guys, I will in fact need to suffer with no fish just being killed the coconut crab with like absolutely no attack bees. And yet two attack per second, not very insane. But yeah, very fun experience killing Coconut Crab uh, without any attack beast half an hour in. I've just been running left, right, left, right. And out of 10 experience, would not recommend. But yeah, come on, Crab, please die. I'll waste even more stingers on you. But I gotta say, Stinger, no hard R. Oh, Gingerbread Bear, let's go. I need all this loot. Yes, sir. Coconuts OP. Oil, thank you very much. Okay. Blue, also very poggers, as the kids might say these days. Alright, getting all this loot, that's pretty nice. But yeah, the reason I was killing this coconut crab, I have a feeling you guys all guessed this, is this little dispenser here, the coconut dispenser. In my opinion, it is absolutely worthless. Maybe it was good like two years ago when people actually cared about grinding a coconut field, but then everyone realized once SSA came out how bad it really is. Look, yeah, no one ever boosts here and no one does anything here. Only thing that's good is maybe for some extra coconuts if you're boosting, but you know, I have like 500. I'm rich on the coconuts. But yeah, moving on to the next thing that I consider useless is the Magic Queen Dispenser. Yeah, I had to read the name for a second. This thing is absolutely a scam. 20 tickets for a Magic Queen. Okay. Wait, let me see how many Magic Queens I have. Alright, let's do some quick math. Okay, so 676 six times 20. I would have 13,000 tickets if I spent, uh, like, all those tickets buying uh, the, whatever it's called, Magic Beans. Yeah. So smart, can't remember magic beans inside of Beast Swarm. But yeah, in my opinion, this is a massive scam. Let me just buy one, whatever. Give me a mythic sprout, please. That's oh, rare, okay, whatever. Yeah, it's rare for a reason, it's called rare. And yeah, overall, uh, magic bean shop, I'll give it like a 3 out of 10. Would not recommend purchasing. Oh, smoking petal planter, wow. It's very insane. And yeah, smoking petal planter, here we go. Okay, a bunch of early gigs. Let's see how many this is. Wow. Three already, insane RNG, thank you so much on it. But yeah, I'm gonna go for a high level pop shim, hopefully. Did I get anything good? Eh, not really. And a load of dice, which is unfortunate. A couple times I've got multiple loaded dice, like two or three even, from one Petal Planter. I guess early gigs are nice, even though they're getting a nerf in the BBM quest. What is my hive looking like? I forgot. Oh, still 13 shy bees, insane. Okay, soft wax bug, let's go. Come on, game. But overall, BBM quest, I'll rate it mid, like Pokey main. Just kidding. No discrimination here. But yeah, so if you guys did end up enjoying this amazing video of me hating on different things inside of Beast Swarm, you know, drop a like, subscribe, with post notices on. It really does help support my channel. And yeah, if you guys want to see more videos like this, just, you know, just tell me in the comments. Tell me your opinion on the things I listed in this video. If there's anything else I should add. Oh, speaking of things I should add, Honey Swarm. No one uses this. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Also join my Discord, discord.g slash bss, or the first link inside the description. Yeah, bye.